Where are we? We're in the back country. So, I got a date coming up. Yeah? Yeah. What, what's his name? His name is Larry Hamilton. Hmm. And he's Laird Hamilton's sister. <laughs> <laughs> So many gender jumps. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> gender jumps. <laughs> so many <laughs> I have it. You know the rules. Well, today's the freaking day, dude. Dude, you did. You killed it in J Bay. We won. I was pretty stoked on that win. Not gonna lie. Like a lot of people doubted a lot you. Of people doubted the uh, surf tour. They uh, I know. surf from home. It works. It's a proven model. So yeah, dude, F Tahiti now. So Tahiti's about to go off, right? Tahiti's about to go off. So I heard there's a swell coming here. So it's kind of like perfect time. Dude, perfect. Like uh, <sighs> Magic Seaweed is saying like 12 foot. 12 foot here. 12 foot Hawaiian here. Dude. And I'm freaking jazzed up, dude. Got the freaking uke. Just trying to get into the island vibes, you know? Yeah, brother. Uh-oh. It's not looking too good right now. We're about to pull up. It looks flat as shit. <laughs> oh, great. This is the problem with the Gulf of Mexico. You can't trust it. My dad always said, never trust the Gulf. He was right. How's it? Dude. This is where they said the biggest waves would be. Well. It's flat. What are we going to do? Oh, God. Let's walk down to the beach and see if it looks better. I just don't know what to do. Tahiti starts in 20 minutes. It's so flat. Surf from home is harder than I thought. Dude, just paddle out and see what happens. My scores won't match Tahiti. Dude. Well, what are we gonna freaking do? I need a two. Oh. You know, I could just go up and hope for a miracle. I mean, there's nothing else we can do. We gotta just try. They say every 20 years, there's a swell. Maybe today's the day. There's nothing. Uh... How's it? How's it? What's wrong, little boy? I just don't know if I can do this. You look sad. Maybe I should have done the tour. Maybe I can't surf from home. Don't overthink them. There's no stinking water on it! Are you okay? I didn't mean that. Little mini honey, don't worry. I have a secret to give you. Puka power. Whoa. Thank you, mermaid. <sighs> what just happened out there? That was amazing. It's like, as soon as the mermaid gave me that puka shell necklace, yeah, the biggest wave of my life came through. We witnessed a miracle, dude. What was it like filming it? The ground was like shaking. Really? Yeah. And I like... I kind of got dizzy a little bit. <laughs> 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 I couldn't like see straight. It was like tunnel vision. And then all of a sudden you were like standing next to me. Because of the pressure? Just like so much at once? No, it was something like mira like something mm, like, like supernatural. Yeah. It was crazy. 
What's funny is I didn't like pull my wetsuit on completely up. I didn't have time. Like the <laughs> wave <laughs> came so fast. It was yeah. like, oh. <laughs> dude, it was insane. Like for sure. When you send that in. Yeah. Oh, we're done. We got it. Yeah. Contest next won. heat or whatever you call it. W- that, that will just win probably. Yeah. Cause if it's just so good, right. I can end up winning just from one wave. Like I don't have to go heat by heat. So yeah, just the one wave. Hmm. I mean, I think even like National Geographic, History Channel, right? They're gonna pick all this up. Yeah. So that was the biggest wave you've ever ridden in the Gulf. That was by far the biggest wave I've ridden in Florida. That's insane. I've ridden bigger in Hawaii, but right, of course. That's that was insane. I, w- I I didn't catch her name though. It was like um. <laughs> Stop touching. <laughs> Yeah, she whispered in my ear, like, before I was on the way. She was like, remember me? Sh- my name is Shaquilla. Shaquilla, la, 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 la. And, like, her flipper smacked me in the face. Well, dude, it was sad. It was looking like it was going to be a sad day because we didn't think we were going to surf. They were, the WSSL guys were I, My career off. was over. Well, you'd have to quit the tour. Yeah, because I, I wouldn't have an entry. Right. So we need to get I would have had a zero. We need to get this to Ricardo, like, as soon as possible. Did you look at the footage? Do we have it? I haven't looked at it yet. All right, I have something to show you. This just came in. Do you know what it is? It's looking cherry. Dude. What the? All right, close your eyes. Close them. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm going to show the camera first. Check it out, everybody. Is it CBD seaweed? Nope. All right. Open your eyes in three, two, one. <gasps> dude. What? It's official. Oh, dude. WSSL surf jersey. See? Ding. They're texting. Whoa. <laughs> what do they say? They're saying how'd the filming go. Um, we heard... Uh, a monster wave came through on the buoys. Oh, they heard. I hope from like magic seaweed or whatever. Yeah, the bu- they saw the buoys. Dude, that's crazy. Dude, so the jersey's in. <sighs> Finally, now it's official. Does it have a little stain? <laughs> 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 little <Gumbles>. hummus. <laughs> what is that? A little Ooh. avocado. A little pork rind. Someone in the china factory was <laughs> 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 was murdered. Maybe That's sick. China. You want to put it on? We can cut to it. Should I put it on? Ready, go. Wonder why they chose white. Maybe because um, because it's like pro- symbolism of the white coming. The white coming. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Cool. Yeah. Check. We witnessed a miracle today. There's angels in the outfield on that one. <laughs> Growing up on the Gulf Coast, what was it like as a surfer trying to? What? <laughs> I can't. People. I actually know that kid. Scoop. His name's Scoop. 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 Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so hot. Oh no, we're losing him. He's taking it off, boys. Sorry, boys. Or right. you're welcome. I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Let's talk about Bob. Let's talk about Bob. Bob was a big mentor of ours. During the filming of one of our movies, The Gold, I emailed him. I got his email, and yeah. he wrote back in, like, in seconds. And he was, like, so down, down like, with the surf stuff. And so I felt like when we were working with him, he was, like, so, like, he was so grateful. He's so, like, passionate about his career. Like, he was just like, oh, I'm just like so stoked you guys like want to yeah. do something with me. And yeah. it's like, you're freaking Bob Saget. Oh, you to, know? It's like to me, he was like way up here. But I remember the night before we were filming, you and me were sleeping in separate beds in a hotel room and we couldn't sleep. And it was probably- You were snoring. And it was like <laughs> 3 a.m. And I must have just started snoring my brains out. And I woke up to you shoving an na- a, a anti-nasal strip. Nasal strip on my <laughs> face. And I was like, Ugh! I thought I was like drowning. <laughs> and then we just got no sleep. We were so nervous to see him the next day. And he was amazing. I remember we were waiting for him. I was in the bathroom looking at myself like tired. Like 
I was like, I've never acted before. Right. How am I going to do this? He did take after take after take. And I was like, I think we got it. (laughs) And he was just wanted to keep doing it. And he kicked butt. It was scary though. He kind of was mean to me. (laughs) (laughs) I deserved it though. I was a total. You kept laughing. He's like, I didn't know the filmer is supposed to laugh. Right. And we have all this behind the scene footage of when we were there with Bob Saget. We've never shown. It's the, yeah, it's the bloopers. It's the outtakes. It's just him kind of talking with you, and it's really sweet and really rad. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Are you the number one surfer in the world? <laughs> this is action. Action! Love it. Is it a flaw? On my Instagram, people, like, they're like, he must be the number one surfer. Like, who else? Oh, so you're living a myth. Uh, yeah, you can put it over. Over makes me geekier, doesn't it? Sensitive, I'll turn into some f***y scream and I got <laughs> my ass. <laughs> Action! Oh, How's it going, bro? How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Good to see you. You still number one? Yeah, uh, for sure, yeah. You're number one? I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. You told me you were number one. Yeah, I'm number one. Number one in ranking, not like number one, like piss. Number one. I'm for sure number one. <laughs> How's your mom? She asked for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's your mom and all. I'm not sure if you're my son or not either. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I couldn't get inverted. Oh, I understand. As long as you don't want to get converted. I want you to have this. It's not, it's not real, and it's a piece of shit, and it's yours. You should probably not just shake while you're <laughs> Don't call me sir. I'm from the south. I'm from the south. Ma'am. Well, okay. ma'am is fine. You, uh, you do me a favor and you say hi to your mom. I know she can't hear too well anymore, so just click it at her. Write it down on a piece of paper. Tell her to mark it with an X and get it back to me. Maybe I'll, I'll varnish it into one of the boards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay, you wanna go again right away? That's all I do now, I shape. You're not even a pro surfer. What tour are you even on? The, there's tour, I'm on the tour. You're on the tour? Yeah. You're on the bus with the people in the back? You're on a surfing tour, but if anything, you're a B-grade surfer, son. That wears glasses to be different and makes silly little videos. I would never do something like that in my life. I aspire to more. What happened to my life? Oh, I'm here with a piece of crap trophy that doesn't mean nothing. I'm breaking shit all over the place. You keep getting out there. You get those inversions and those tri-tips. You get them medium rare. Buy your mom a shot of whiskey. She used to like that back in the day. Uh, I missed your mom. Probably enough of that. (laughs) (laughs) Your Bob. I am. Take care, son. I don't think the way we did it, I could have actually made you. (laughs) (laughs) We did it. You could have been a son to me. Say hi to your mama, will you? Oh, never mind. I'll just Skype her tonight. Is she on Tinder? Do you still have a friend named Eunice? <laughs> Where did you? How did the script come about? How did you write that? Um. Well, I've worked with shapers in the past, and they've all all. The, surfboard shapers are all grumpy (laughs) 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 and they've all got this strange attitude like it's kind of like an art not appreciated like they don't get paid super good right and like there goes one now so working with like surfboard shapers it's like they're already underpaid they're working with chemicals all day i think it's affecting their brains (laughs) it's hard as crap (laughs) they're hot it's hot constantly what am i doing now Shaping boards in a small room, can't even breathe. Everyone wants a board. So, like, just my experiences with working with shapers, um, it's like, 
they're grumpy. Yeah. And you're always scared. <laughs> Just talk to them. Because they spend all this time making a board, and <laughs> sometimes the first time you ride, it's like, this is terrible. Oh, And no. it's like, I mean, imagine if you put hours into oh, an edit. Right. And someone's like, it's terrible. And you're like, no, you're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> right. But really, it's the board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they kind of always have this attitude like, it's not the board, dude. Yeah, it's you. Right. You suck. Yeah. That's hilarious. So, so that's why you kind of made him that so way. So I was like, oh, what? it'd be so funny if like Bob Saga was my shaper. The genius. And it was like, it just had, it was like, <laughs> and uh, I shaped those with a heavy concave for a quad setup. Like these are all real conversations I had with shapers. Right. The waves were funky when I wrote it. Maybe I need to put the four fin quad setup in. <laughs> What? You, you dummy. You big dummy. I, I shaped those with a heavy concave four quad setup. You fool. That's why I couldn't get inverted. Yeah, it's hard to get inverted. Like, it was kind of all my experience with shapers, and then Dude. Bob brought it to life. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing about Bob is he kept talking about your mom. And we didn't have any. Yeah, of we that didn't write the, that in the script. No, he kept talking about your mom. How's your mama? You know my mom? Well, I, I knew her. Which was the best part of the yeah. clip. And there's it's like his comedy really came out. Right. Like he was just talking about myself. Ten times way more professional. And he was like I just didn't know how to operate around him. Like I thought we were just kind of in fun and he was like, No, we're freaking doing this. Yeah, we always the skits we film, it's very, like, nonchalant. Yeah, and silly. But we were in, like, a small shaping bay with... <laughs> we were in a small room we with had, Bob like, Saget. assistants for, and yeah, there was everything. A sound so it was, guy. like, all of a sudden we're, like, filming a real oh, thing and not ready. I know. We didn't sleep. <laughs> My nose hurt from you shoving your hand on it. <laughs> it was tough hearing when he passed away. It was... Dude. It was very confusing because they didn't really know what happened. Right. We love you, Bob. Rest in peace. I'm not a surfer. I actually kind of grew up skateboarding, but who cares? <coughs> what What is it like growing up as a Gulf Coast surfer guy? It's pretty hard. It's probably the hardest place to become a pro surfer. Gosh, I need well, to, if you look I need on a map, the Gulf is like this big, and then the Pacific Ocean's yeah that big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's flat all the it's flat a lot, right. and then when you do get waves, it's like it's either a mermaid, it's like a washing machine, or a, or a storm. <laughs> <laughs> Puka power. You either need a mermaid or a hurricane. <laughs> well, my dad took me surfing every day when it was up. He was the biggest, probably, coach I had going. Right. And he loved to surf, so he was always surfing. Yeah. But I had nothing else to do. It was like, hang out with my mom or go surfing. I was like, <laughs> I'll go surfing. <laughs> Gulf Coast is the bottom of America. Of the surf mecca. Right. And then you got East Coast. Then you have Cali, and then you like have like Hawaii, probably at the top, and then maybe inter international, like right up there, depending on like how good waves they get. I mean, we've filmed before out there together, and there's there's some tubies. It gets good. Yeah. flat all summer so <laughs> yeah. until the mermaid swell <laughs> they're gonna call it that for years the, the mermaid the swell mermaid the wave. great mermaid swell of 2022 the mermaid wave do you still have that pig grady yeah grady he was cool when i was first on tour i used to travel with a pig and it like a pet yeah and we travel everywhere together and he would sit in the back of my van car and right. and he was just a boss and he would just take dumps everywhere, like yeah. giant pellets. Yeah, we had that pig for a while, but I got so freaking hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That's how you got out of veganism? Yeah, just that pig was looking so damn delicious. Well, didn't your neighbor Brock, he smokes a lot of meat. And he was like, dude, we could smoke. We could eat him. We could smoke Grady. And you were like, oh. <laughs> I remember that. We ate him. Dang it, Grady. Dang it, Grady. Grady. Those are perfect pooplets. Grady was cool, man. I can't believe you freaking ate him. I had to. I love brisket. <laughs> <laughs> Brisket's good. Is brisket big? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How did pinch my salt start? I don't know. Well, let me tell you. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't remember. <laughs> I remember you started a website, and I was like, all right. And then. We well, I, I had my website, sterlingspencer.com. Oh, yeah. And I used, my agent was like, post your results. Results? Trophies. Oh. And then we just started posting stupid stuff. and Well, like. Now we're in a van by like, the river. <laughs> we're in a van down by the river. I love what you said once. You had Instagram before there was Instagram. Right. Blogging. Blogging. And it was an Instagram. It was your stupid photos with like weird Photoshop. Yeah. It was oh. so weird to be the only one with it. Right. It was like at least a good year or so before people started right. catching on. And you had that. I mean, I don't totally know all the details, but you had a good amount of traffic. Oh, yeah. On your website. Millions at one point. Dude. Yeah, it was so. It was like in the early O's, it was like I was the most famous surfer. It was so unorthodox. People didn't know what to do. Yeah, it was like, it wasn't like from contest results and this and that and this. It was like, I just created this own world and then all of a sudden like everyone started doing it. So what did your dad think of that? He hated it. He hated it? Yeah. I've never heard you say that. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. I remember one time he was like, I don't really like funny surfers. Really? And I was like, but I'm a funny surfer. But dad, but father. No, well, that's a bummer that he would say that. But he just, it was his old school. He didn't know anything about it. It was, he was thinking I was like a jackass. Yeah. Being just an, like a jerk or stupid. Yeah. He didn't understand like. The kind of satire I was doing. Right. It's not just ridiculous, dumb stuff. There is some brains behind it. Yeah. Sometimes. It's, it's all, it was all s mechanically manipulated. I think that people look at you and maybe think like, what is he? Well, just surf, dude. Some people, a lot of people love it, but they don't realize how much freaking work goes into these bits to the humor right. to the comedy to the like we'll get into it in other podcasts but like stuff with Aki Chancho like there's you're surfing getting clips getting photos for magazines and then you're off doing something else after that while the other guys are like Ugh. yeah it was hard juggling basically two careers right I had comedian a, I was a c full on comedian and then a full on pro surfer at the same time right. yeah I remember like uh, one of my last surf contests at the US Open in California I got this, it was before GoPro came out, yeah. and I got this, it was called a contour camera. I remember that. And it was this giant black oval thing. So no one had uh, camera phones yet. Right. So I, people were actually So talking. no one knew it was a camera. Uh, what was your name? Sterling. You made it in. I made it. I was just like, I'm going to give people the experience of what it's like to serve in a contest. So I'm just like walking around. Right. The contest area, like interviewing guys, and they're just like, "What is this?" <laughs> it's like an alien. Like, this is a camera. They're like, "What, dude?" And then I took it out in the heat. I put the camera like in my front uh, zip. Yeah. And I remember like cl I was serving a heat against Clay Marzo, and I was just like, "And he was probably like, what the? Fuck? He was like." And I remember I was doing so good in the contest, and I had this giant <laughs> camera, and like I, I got to like the quarterfinals. And I was like, I got to take this serious. Like, this is the farthest what? I've been in this contest. And that's a, it's like one of the bigger contests. So the trick was so to... So I took it out. I was like, I got to take it serious. And I lost so bad. Like, if I would have just kept it in. Dude. Something about having the camera not it made it... took away the pressure. Yeah, it took away, like, huh. the seriousness of it. Dude, that's so funny. But yeah, I had this giant camera. And I remember I went to an after party and, like, Andy Irons... <laughs> Just filming everyone behind the scenes, and I remember like the response was just like, No one's ever seen this part right. of the surf industry, you know, like pre iPhones. 
no camera phones at all. And so that's what it was like. It felt like a, it was a really cool time where it was just like, I felt like I was a Columbus sailing the seas of like this internet Dude. world that no one's touched yet. I just saw uh, everything I saw when I understood the internet was like the possibilities are endless now. Right. Like it's way beyond surfing. My sponsors took notice and I got my own movie and stuff. That's insane. We have another clip for, for pinch my clips. Ooh. So send it out. Time it. to put me to work. Hey, look at me. I'm surfing. Rico, Rico, look up right here. I'm surfing. <laughs> this is easy. What's all the fuss about? I'll show you a tube. You want to see a tube? I'll get in a tube. This is easy. Dude, show the guys the jersey one more time. Give them what they want. I can't believe they stained it. Who wore this? <laughs> Maybe Ricardo had it. <laughs> Maybe, like, in the rule book, they're like, can't win with stains. WSSL, World Surfer Surfing. WSSSSL. World Surfing Surfers League. World Surfing Surfers from Home League. I love it. All right. Well, send us off, Sterling, in your in your trademark <sighs> zen. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Cross the <laughs> in. Uh, I got to get back to church, dude. All right, dude. I'll get you paid. How's it? Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch My Salt. <laughs>